Hello, Marcus. Recording this straight off of my webcam here, straight to YouTube. I like the feature. You just go to upload, and then you just uh, tell it to straight from webcam, and it does that. So, um, but it has a whole bunch of options in there. Like it said that it could see my XSplit broadcaster. It also said it could see my other cameras, um, which uh, the other cameras that I'm that I'm using when I'm doing live broadcasts and everything. Um, I wanted to use that for this, but it wouldn't let me, so I'm on my webcam. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, I just wanted to talk about quickly about the fact of editing video in uh, something like uh, Adobe Premiere, a uh, gameplay video that you record with like Fraps or Directory or, or um, uh, XSplit, and they all have this problem in Adobe Premiere of the the audio not being synced properly with the video, and uh, it's been a it's been a really big problem for me. Uh, it's kept me from editing a lot of the gameplay. It's it's a lot you know it's it's driven me in a path of of using like XSplit where I can produce stuff right on the fly and just have it there. But what what it hasn't allowed for is that. You know, sometimes when I'm doing these uh, recordings, something really special happens. And, you know, when that happens, I want to be able to grab that section and use it maybe in another um, video. And, you know, especially I'm working on right now, I'm working on War Z. And I've got, um, I decided to do a survival series on it. Uh, I've actually got about eight hours worth of gameplay that's going to appear on November 5th and then I've been doing this survival stuff and it's where I just grab just a little section of video, only about a minute, and I'll talk about how to use a flashlight right or, you know, um, a shotgun um, or even something as, as simple as a can of tuna uh, in the game and, and how much uh, health it uh, gives you and uh, so it's this whole Survivor series that I'm that I'm putting together. But sometimes the examples come. I see them while I'm in my gameplay recording, and I can't stop and record that. And editing it after the fact, it's always uh, been a problem of of figuring out how to get. You know, if this is your video and your audio going along here, and it's always off. And um, and so you have to, you know, cut it and sync it over and everything. And if the clip is very long, it drifts. And um, so that has been uh, really a pain in the ass. So a lot of people have talked about using, uh, you know, Sony Vegas. And uh, so I went and looked at Sony Vegas, and the damn thing is $600. And um, so, but I'm like, well, golly, I don't want to spend 600 bucks on this. Um, I don't have 600 bucks to spend, but I'm going to go look at it and see how it really handles this stuff. And so I found a demo version, and that demo version allows for um, uh, it, it allowed full functionality for like 30 days or whatever. But it has this damn Sony Vegas thing that goes pop, pop, pop all over the screen. <laughs> Keeps you from uh, using it for any production stuff, and. So, um, but it worked. It got it right the first time. And all of my sample points, you know, the audio was perfectly in sync with the video, no matter what the frame rate was. And see, that's when you're recording with like XSplit and stuff. Here's what happens, is that you may set it at 30 frames a second, but if your computer gets bogged down at all for a little bit, or, or the video gets really, really complex, the frame rate will go down. And so if you... You know, I mean, if you had frame rates of, you know, 60 or 100, you know, frames per second or whatnot, and you set it at 30, then it would always record at 30, and it would slow down that stuff. And as long as it didn't dip below 30, then it would always be a constant 30. And, and it, wouldn't, it wouldn't make this for this issue. But as we all know, it takes a monster machine to do something like that and to record in like 1080p and everything. And so I end up recording at like 25 frames a second. You know, I, I sit between like 24 and 28 frames a second for a lot of my gameplay stuff just because that's what my system can handle. And um, so, but it's variable and so it moves as you go. Well, one thing I, I learned was this trick, which I talked about before on this channel, 
And that trick was that you could upload it to YouTube, it would process it, it would render it and get it right every time. And then you could download it again and then you could edit portions out. Well, that's very, very uh, cumbersome and everything. And so in my tests with Vegas, it, it did, I did really long files, I did like 45 minute play sessions and rendered them out and it was spot on through the whole thing. So it knows the variables and it's keeping it in sync, which is exactly what um, I've been looking for. So, but I didn't want to pay out that kind of money. So I uh, found, uh, uh, you know, Sony Vegas uh, Pro is available on Amazon and everything and but then when you do a search on Amazon for that it comes up with movie studio Sony movie studio and uh, so I thought well you know what maybe a Vegas works for this and it's really only this one application I'm not trying to use it for everything I just want to use it for editing these particular bits um, you know maybe I can um, you know look at that and uh, try a demo of that and see how that works well you know what it was only, I found it for 79 bucks on, um, on Amazon, 95 on the website, and that's so much cheaper than 600 bucks for Pro. I tried it, and it works. And it works beautiful. So, um, it don't, you don't need to spend all that money to, um, to get that kind of functionality. So, I figured it out and uh, the Sony Vegas and the Sony Movie Studio, both of those perfectly sync your gameplay videos. So if you are doing gameplay video stuff and you're having these audio problems, look at one of those two products. You don't need Sony Vegas, um, the big thing, unless you're doing more of commercial work. Um, and uh, I think Movie Studio do probably pretty much everything you need. So that's just my tip of the day, something I learned. Thought I would share that with you, and, um, and in fact, I'll put a link in the description to um, the the product that I just bought um, because uh, it's cheaper than buying it online. And if you're Prime, you get it delivered for free, second day. So can't beat that. I'm Marcus. Take care.